One of our newest and most exciting features of Client Profiles is what we call our Workflow. The workflows within Client Profiles basically allow you to be able to create any standard process and procedures and build those into the specific cases of which you desire. These workflows are typically used in one of three manners. They're either used to be able to set up jurisdictional rules that can automatically be applied to specific case types. Um, and those rules typically will be display filing deadlines, any court deadlines, any statute of limitation deadlines. Another way these workflows are used are in meeting client demands. So if clients place specific um, demands from a case status report or a simple notification that might be sent to them, or if you receive a demand, um, maybe you have to notify the client that you've received that demand. Um, and finally, the third way is any internal process and procedures that you want to have set up so that you can work your files in a specific standard manner. Those are typically built into these workflow packages. Right now we're looking at a workflow package. Um, and think of this as just a simple checklist for now. So it basically allows you to be able to identify all the standard items that need to be completed within this particular matter. You start those based on a target date, so you can work from a start date into the future. You also have the ability to set a specific target date into the future and work back from that target date. So you can set a trial date and then get a notification 30 days prior to that pending date within the future. Once these workflows are set up, they then will be automatically assigned to a specific individual or a specific role within that case. So either Chris handles this task no matter what case uh, this is on, or this gets assigned to the specific paralegal or to the assigned attorney within this matter. You then have the ability to set up a description, any comments, what the reminder date is, what the actual deadline date is. You then can count by calendar or business days. If this item happens to fall on a weekend or holiday, do I want to move it forwards or backwards? And then what's the type, the priority, and then the phase. You also have the ability to assign merge forms directly to this task. So right here we see this task is a file a motion to compel. I can link that merge form directly to this task. So in one click, you have the ability to automatically complete this task as well as create that motion to compel. And then finally, upon completion, the system can automatically notify the entire team, a specific individual internal or external, and it will notify them based on a Microsoft Outlook email. And it will just automatically send that email again upon the completion of this task. Now the best way to view these workflows is via what we call the flowchart. And as you can see here, this is much more than just a checklist. It is true workflow that allows you to be able to build in what we call decision points or if-then logic. So you can see here we have a discovery package. The first item is have we received a response to our discovery request. If we've not received a response, the system's going to automatically diary a 30-day follow-up, prompt us to call opposing counsel, file a motion to compel. But if we happen to receive the response, we're going to review those responses and are they complete or are they incomplete. And again, based on this decision pointer outcome, the software is smart to automatically assign the next appropriate item. Or up at the top, finally, has this item been declined? So as you can see here, true workflow is built into the application to be able to automatically schedule and docket those next items that might need to be completed.